Hey, Brian Sullivan, founder of Precise Selling with your weekly video tip. Okay, have you ever tried to steal an enormous client from one of your biggest competitors? And you do a great deal of homework, you walk in that door, maybe you're doing a Zoom presentation, you are more prepared than ever, right? You got all the decision makers there, you ask great questions, you bring the walls down, really good dialogue, you come to the end, you think you just hit a grand slam. And the client says, Brian, thank you for the presentation. Very good. I'll tell you what, we're going to get with our team. Why don't you follow up with me in a few days and I'll let you know if we've decided to switch all our business your way. Of course, you're walking out feeling a little cocky, right? And it's almost like dating. She said, I wait one day, two days, three days, maybe three days later when you follow up. You call that decision maker and you ask the question, hey, do you have any other questions or concerns? And they say, you know what, Brian? We've decided to stay with our current supplier, but thank you so much for coming by. All right, this has happened to every one of us. Now, here's what happens to the below average sales rep. Next three minutes, their body and mind goes through four of the five stages of the dying cycle. Denial, anger, bargaining, and depression. Number one, the lame sales rep goes, oh my God, denial. They feel all bad for themselves, right? How could this have happened? Then you got the lame guy who says, I am so mad. What a jerk. Maybe they hit bargaining. Oh my gosh, I'm a little depressed. Maybe I should have just cut my price even more. Or then you usually end up in depression. How could this have happened? Now, what, the question is, what do you do from here? You gave it your best. You lost the deal. Should you maybe just go tell the prospect they made a huge mistake and that in the long run it's going to cost them? No, that's not going to work. Or should you maybe perhaps um, throw out the great rejection cliche? Um, are you sure you're comparing apples to apples? I hear that one a lot. Or wait, maybe right between the eyes, hit him with this. All right, Phyllis. Did you just play me to get a better price out of your current supplier? Hmm, we often wonder that. All right, as much as our head and our hearts after losing the sale want to tell a prospect they made a mistake, don't do it. I want you to get to the last stage of the dying sale. It's acceptance, right? And here's the step. Here's the process you're going to go through when you lose the big sale. Number one, thank them for the opportunity. It's all right you lost this deal. No big deal. Next, I want you to ask them a question that helps you learn from the experience. I would ask, hey, hey Phyllis, I'm wondering if you're going to help me. Was there something better I could have done to earn your business? Remember, more lessons are learned from failure than success. So don't miss that opportunity by pouting. Next thing I want you to do, drop them a handwritten thank you note in the mail. Hmm. Guess when the last time their current supplier gave them a handwritten thank you note? Never. You're starting to ease your way back in there. And then the final thing, I want you to tell them that you will always be here and will continue to work hard to earn the opportunity to serve them. Then I want you to create a plan to keep your name in front of them over the next 12 months. Maybe it's a monthly newsletter. Maybe it's sending them a LinkedIn article. I don't know what those things are in your industry, but here's the good news. The day's going to come when your competition slips up. And when they do, the prospect will think of you first. And you know why? Because it's how you handled the first rejection and how you continue to find ways not to pout, but instead to serve them. And once you steal that account, you get that account, you will then be able to accept the fact that that first rejection was nothing more than the first essential step in the creation of one of your biggest and best long-term customers. So face rejection, good things will come. And we'll see you next week for your precise selling tip.